Hello students, welcome to Vedantu Neat English channel. I am your master teacher Gopika. So I am here to tell you how to score 360 out of 360 in biology. Since all of you know that Neat 50% depends on your biology marks. So even if you lose one single mark, it can affect your ranks in a very different way. So I am here to tell you if you have wasted all your past months without properly preparing and you feel really, uh, you know, you feel very bad that I could have prepared better. Do not worry. You are right in the, you are watching the right video because I am here to tell you what you should exactly do for the next four months that is going to come. We have less than five months. So for the next four months, let's say four months, what you are supposed to do to start your preparation for starting your biology preparation in the best way possible and to get 360 out of 360 okay so students here what you need to do now that we have wasted maybe you have wasted a lot of time maybe some of you have utilized it in a real way no problem this is for all the students in whatever uh, position right now you feel about your own biology you know marks do not worry just understand this much at this point of time you need to do smart work more than you know working really really hard so I will tell you exactly how to start your preparation if you're starting it right now. If you've already started, then what are the things that you need to focus on? Okay, so let's directly get in. So and students, now if you see the time, okay, exact time, we have from say December 20th to your May 5th, that is for your dream to happen. We have around 138 days, okay, out of which say 10 days have been gone because of your new year, Christmas, everything. Okay, so we have say around 120 days. I'm giving around 120 days or else up to 128 days okay because there's new year coming Christmas coming unexpected guest happens if you fall sick all of this if you remove we have around 120 days okay out of this 120 days how are you going to utilize the maximum time to make sure that your score reaches 360 students we know since the portions have been reduced we have around 32 chapters right 32 chapters, most of the chapters will require only one day, but majority there are chapters, if you see human physiology or plant physiology, there are topics that are a little more complex. It might take you up to two to three days depending on your speed of learning. Okay. So even if you utilize, even if you utilize three days, you still have a lot of time left. Correct. Even if you utilize two days for each chapter, you still have a lot of time left. Keeping in mind that you also have to revise physics and chemistry, I am telling you that you have ample amount of time to go through each chapter, do the DPPs and also revise. Okay. So now at this point, what you are expected to do is your smart work. Okay. Now what do I mean by smart work? Students, I mean that you are going to start with your high weighted chapters instead of starting from what is living world. Okay, where we might be expecting four marks. I'm not telling every single mark matters, but at this point of time, when you're starting your preparation or when you're in the middle of your preparation, it is not the right thing to take easy chapters and then just feel relaxed. Oh, I completed 10 chapters, but let just check yourself in this ch 10 chapters. How many marks have you gained? How many marks is in your pocket safely? That is what matters. So I will tell you this much. Start with these chapters. These are the majority of your biology. This is whole of your biology that can constitute and give you enough or good amount of marks to be in real. Let's start. Genetics. Students, genetics and evolution, if you see genetics, there are two concepts, right? Your molecular basis of inheritance and your principles of inheritance. Now, if you see molecular basis of inheritance, I have checked the pattern of questions, the number of questions that has been come. Say from 2018 to 2023, there were almost eight questions from this chapter. We are expecting same way we are expecting eight to nine questions from this chapter this year also. That means almost 36 to 40 marks you're going to get by just learning this chapter, which is a huge which is a lot of marks, right? At the same way, when I checked principle of inheritance also, we expecting around six questions this year. Again, not a less number of questions. This is a lot because you know that maximum, if you check the human physiology, you can see that two to three questions come from every chapter. If you see breathing, locomotion, neural control, neural control, usually more uh, questions come, but it is mostly two to three. So six questions, eight questions, nine questions. That is a lot. 
right that is a lot now next topic is structural organization why i have added here we know that cockroach and frog is there from structural organization and nta has slightly you know changed the syllabus because of which we can expect we can expect three to four questions from just learning cockroach and frog students as a biology student as a neat aspirant it is very important for you to understand that concepts which are small if it's going to give you three to four marks then you have to focus on that concept first evolution you will uh, uh, get almost around two questions we're not expecting more than that so i would say start with your genetics okay structural organization just knowing cockroach and frog will give you almost three to four marks you cannot afford to miss that marks then when we talk about biotechnology again we expect from both the chapters almost eight questions so this year also we are expecting seven to eight questions here and there numbers can change but these are the high numbers that we have seen throughout the years okay now human physiology and plant physiology since you know that some topics have been deleted especially from plant physiology that is your transport and mineral nutrients you can focus most on photosynthesis respiration right these two chapters have a lot of concepts lot of concepts that you cannot miss now plant growth and development these three concepts when i mainly say photosynthesis and respiration they are lot of interconnected so we can again expect a lot of questions from this so i would say focus on your human physiology and plant physiology human physio you, you will get almost around 11 questions from us as a whole each chapter you will get three to uh, three questions maximum and neural control you can expect up to up to five to six questions nta keeps uh, changing here and there five to six four to five but these units or these concepts never change never change these are the high weightage topics okay now reproduction again you can expect four to uh, six questions from this chapter also that is your human reproduction and your reproductive health okay so i'm writing three to five questions and cell cell where you have cell the basic unit of life cell division and your biomolecules will give you around 11 questions okay that is how much we are expecting this year so you can look at this statistics you can just look at the numbers each of the concepts is giving you 30 40 marks that means 20 to 40 marks which is a lot which is a lot so if you cover these topics you can only calculate how many how much marks you feel confident about so instead of that doing living world doing uh, uh, starting with evolution starting with uh, you know concepts which will give you two questions from each it might be at this point a wrong decision to make definitely when time once you finish all this you have ample amount of time go for that chapters and students here and there the number of questions will change but this is what is seen throughout the years so we can stand by this okay so once you have done this how are you supposed to do it okay or once you are taking or picking molecular basis of inheritance how am i go going to go about it right so complete all the high weightage chapters read ncrt line by line students your ncrt is your what to tell bible we say you no know, the ncrt is your encyclopedia ncrt is your everything okay so do not go behind multiple multiple textbooks and put yourself in a situation where you cannot understand just follow ncrt but make sure every single line you know because any student from aims if you ask any students from any of the reputed colleges now they are studying you ask them they will say that they have grinded ncrt and learned that you know they know even the page numbers from where that diagram has come that is what so ncrt is everything at this point of time for you people okay revise now how do i revise revision does not mean just reading all the textbooks at once all the notes at once watching 10 live lectures at once no that will not work out revision is going back to your notes that you wrote during the sessions with your uh, with your teachers okay now imagine you have attended structural organization with me that is your cockroach and frog you have written down the notes the way i have taught you in the slides that notes is what you're supposed to revise then you feel like no there are some concepts that i need to listen from ma'am go back to the video watch it at 1.5x watch it at 2x use it as a revision that is how you have to do that is the smart way of dealing with revisions okay and then doing dpps and mock tests now students understand every day if you solve 10 questions that means in 130 days you're going to solve 1300 questions 
which is not a small amount, which is not even anything less, right? So, every day make it a habit to solve 10 questions. Now, you will be like, ma'am, where do I get this 10 questions? You are going to get the 10 questions in our description. Now, I am teaching structural organization or I am teaching molecular basis of inheritances. That 5 to 10 questions will be in the description. Just go to our link because we will be giving you free DPPs and quizzes at the end of every single session where you do not have to go elsewhere. You finished the chapter with me, you sat with me for 3 hours, 4 hours, that next 10 minutes solve the quiz and boost your confidence. Yes, I understood the concept, I am able to crack all the 10 questions or I am able to crack all the 8 questions. By then, you will also see the difference in your whole pattern. Right? And I am going to teach you all the high weightage topics in this channel. From starting from say today, I will be taking make sh making sure that all the high weightage topic will be done first. So my students can follow me even if you're first time to the channel, first time learning with me, you will have a plan. Yes, now I feel confident that 100 marks I have already done with Gopagama. With that 100 marks, I've also solved DPPs and mock tests for free. So you will be able to understand the difference in your schedule that will lead you to get 360 out of 360. And to make it more convenient for you, we have started a super six series where we will give you one week schedule in prior. We will already be scheduling the classes. So you can plan your day in such a way that you will be able to do all of it. Now this is already completed. Sir has already finished basic maths. Now families will be done. Slowly I will start cockroach and frog which is your structural organization. We will be expecting around 3 to 4 marks from it. Then again organic chemistry will be done by Deeksha ma'am, logic gates. Uh, by Shreya sir and again I will be doing molecular basis of inheritance. Again molecular basis of inheritance around 36 to 40 marks. You cannot afford to miss this session which is going to happen on Saturday. So once this timetable is also done, you will have a plan how to go about it. You will also at one side you will also be preparing for biology to get 360. At the same time you will also Deeksha Mam and Shreya sir will be preparing you to get 180 out of 180. By this you are going to get into your dream college. So at the end of this video, I want all of you to drop down your dream college name with your scores that you are expecting for your biology because I will be checking every single comment and I will be reading all your names. Okay, so this is one thing manifestation like we spoke every single video. You have to make sure to call yourself a doctor and keep manifesting that I want to be in names. I want to be in these medical colleges every single class. So at the end of this video, I want all of you to go to the comment section, take your one minute of your time, type down your name, type down your dream college and tell me what do you expect in your biology. There are a lot of students who might be weak in biology who feels like, no, I will get only 320. No problem. Just put it down there. 320. I will tell you how to boost your score up to 360 later on. Right. I can mentor you. I can mentor each one of you. So just do this at the end of this um, video and students, if you are a dropper, if you are a board person, if you are a student from 12th, 11th preparing for NEET for the next year or this year, do not worry. We will bring up everything that you need for your NEET preparation to be smooth, to run smooth. Okay. So do not forget to solve DPPs. It's very, very important. 10 questions every day can change your life in a very different way because that 10 questions is going to boost your confidence. Okay. So thank you so much for joining. I will see you at my live. Do not forget to share this video with all your friends and relatives who are preparing for NEET because this will help them to understand where to start and are they in the right path okay see you all students thank you so much if you're new to this channel do not forget to subscribe because we will come up with amazing amazing content for you and we will make sure to help you in whatever way possible from our side thank you so much see you all